Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another riveting episode of Absolutely Positively with your girl, Denny K. You know, I am so happy, as always, to be here with you. And, you know, if some of you know me by my government name, Kayla, you know, I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a answer to that too. Because sometimes I forget to change my name. So you probably keep seeing that name coming up. And that's my government name. So I just wanted to be able to express that to you. But if you see that, it's still Denny K. It's still absolutely positively. It is still creating a form just from you, just for you, from me to you. So no matter who I am, <laughs> I am dedicated to bringing you this absolutely positively wonderful content. And what is it about in this form? It's about the I am feels, man. It is about that inspiration, encouraging, motivating vibe, that lifestyle, those feelings. I'm trying to give that to you so you can start your week off with a bang. And I'm just so excited, as always, you know. I'm just an exciting person, I think. Well, excited person. <laughs> Maybe some think I'm excited, too. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for being here, um, giving you this content. And as always, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, uh, the one that makes this possible. We got to pay those bills, right? We got to give a shout out to Mute Mogul Media Group. Because they're doing the darn thing, and I get to be a part of it. So big shout out to them. If you have not subscribed, if you have not liked, if you're not getting a notification about absolutely positively and all the wonderful things that the 3MG group, 3MG are doing, man, what 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 are we doing? We got, we gotta we gotta do that. We gotta support one another. We gotta help one another in this world in this moment to. Um, push forward the content that we want to hear about, the content that we want to see, the content that um, will help you during these 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 challenging times. I won't say dark, but challenging times because there's always the light. And hopefully these IEM fields and this IEM lifestyle and this IEM energy that I give you every week, every week will help you along your way. All right. Without any further ado, I'll get started with our quote of the day, our quote of the week. Um, as you know, most of this forum is created uh, to inspire you, encourage you, and motivate you, but I like to do that with a quote. I'm a big proponent of words and how we use them to just give us those IEM feels so we can just navigate through this world, through this week, through your life, through your being so you can be better and you can operate in your calling because that's what I'm doing. I'm operating my calling. I've been called to encourage. I've been um, called to do the IEM. And so that's what this is for. So without further ado, we're going to go to our quote and we're going to flesh that out absolutely positively in Denny K style. Are you ready? Get ready. Buckle up. This is a good one. So I'm trying to have this Zen this Zen kind of vibe going on because I read this and I was like, oh my goodness, this is my favorite because <laughs> all of them are my favorite, right? But this quote is my favorite of the week. Um, and it's, it's, it's deep. It's deep. And so last week we talked about kind of resetting to just kind of walking in this spirit of of energy, how you see fit, no matter what your age. And today we're still kind of in that theme. So I'm kind of been in this reset, redo, you know, rinse and repeat, but do it in a different way kind of vibe. So this quote goes right into that. Okay. So this quote comes to us from Madeline Beck. Um, and she says, start over my darling, be brave enough to find the life that you want and be courageous enough to choose it. Then start over, love yourself the way you were always meant to be loved. And I added that 
but she just said the way you were always meant to. Okay, we're going to say it one more time. Start over, my darling. Be brave enough to find the life that you want and be courageous enough to choose it. The start over, then start over and love yourself the way you were always meant to. Mm. See why that's my favorite? So that's why we got to do this. A lot of times uh, my episodes are a little bit spirited, but this I wanted to just kind of have a zen moment, um, a reflecting moment, and, and just kind of walk you through. Right here, the author or the quoter is basically trying to connect to us by calling, saying, darling, right? But then it's just to start over. And so for me, each day is a new mercy. I talked about it last week. So if you hadn't seen that episode, check it out. But I talked about um, that, just we get new mercy. So that's how she captures me here, which is start over. Start over. We get to do that. If we have breath in our lungs to make it to another day, we get a chance to start over. We get a chance to do over. We get a chance to reset. And so she's saying, start over. And as you're operating in that new mercy, be brave. Be brave. Wake up with that type of brave energy to tackle the day, to just say, you know what? This is going to be the day. This is going to be the day that I start a business. This is going to be the day that I find love. This is going to be the day that I cook that that dinner for my spouse that I've been wanting to, to show them how special they are. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I'm going to rejoice and be happy about it and just do the things that, you know, whatever I feel like doing. So be brave enough to find the life that you want. What is that right now? Pause right now and think. Take five seconds to just say, what is the life that I want? And especially if it's not going on right now, if you ain't living the life that you want, give me five seconds right now and think about that. What is the life that you want? And then when you think of that, have the unction to be brave about it. Have it start right here in, in the bottom of your stomach and have it well up to your brain and just get excited. Be ready to tackle it with your armor, with your sword, with your go get him attitude and just get it, boo. Get it, friends. Get it, family. And then she says, and get the life that you want, and then also be courageous enough to choose it. So it's one thing to try to be brave enough to find it, okay? You're going to find it, so you're going to seek it, right? You're going to seek it. But she's saying be courageous enough to choose it. OMG. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Is it that we... We can think about the things that we want. We can attach to it and say, okay, this is what I want, but we don't choose it. And what does that look like? If it is to be, everybody told you you can cook. Everybody told you you can cook, but you need some credibility behind your name. How about you go take some cooking classes? How about you go to a cooking institute? You know, they have those now. They have an institution specifically based on some of the things that you want to do. So go choose it. Or if it's to go to college, or if it's to pick that, you know, that endorsement in high school, the things that you want. Even if you're not in high school, in college, maybe you're 50 like me, and you're like, okay, I found the life that I want, but how do I achieve it? Maybe it's to be a botanist. Maybe you need to go uh, see if you can hang out at the greenhouse. Whatever it is, not just find it, but choose it. Choose it. Take a hold of it and make it your own. Say, that one right there in the window, I want it. I got the money to buy it. So I choose it. But be brave and courageous because we only get one shot. We only get one life. Excuse me. We only get one life. We get several shots at it, but we get one life. Make the most of it. Be brave. Have that one day where you're brave and, and, um, and courageous. And the next day, okay, you can just 
uh, be silent and think about it. But have one day of the week where you're brave and courageous and seeking the things that you want. And then she goes in to say, then start over and love yourself the way you've always were meant to. This is powerful to me because a lot of times we seek it, we find it, we choose it, and we fail. We fail big time. And if you come back to this and go, see, Jenny, I did all of those things, and I still failed. I, I did not get the start over, the do over, the reset. But she reminds us is that, Okay, we're going to start over, but love yourself in the way you have always meant to. So give yourself some grace. Love yourself for being brave and courageous in that moment, in that minute, in that hour, in that day, in that week, within that year. Love yourself enough to say, you know what, I tried it, and it wasn't so bad. Just keep starting over until you get it. This is a... This is a blueprint. This is uh, a, a, a footstep on a path going in the direction that you want. And I just want to encourage you to take these sweet words and let them wash over you. Start over, my darling. And then end it with, when you start over, love yourself the way you have always meant. We get to redo. We don't love on ourselves much, a, a lot. We are told that doing a little bit too much self-care is selfish, and it's not. I think that self-care turns into selflessness because we have learned how to care for ourselves. And therefore, when we learn to care for ourselves, we can care for others because we're good. But sometimes we forget to do that. We, we forget to take a little time for ourselves and not feel guilty about it. That's why I love this series that I'm doing right now, the reset and the redo, because you get to operate that way in a different way each way. Don't live your life the same way, rinse and repeat over again, unless you're using different detergents, unless you're using different clothes. You can have the different action, the same action, excuse me. You can have the same action, but maybe you need to use different detergent. Maybe you need to put a different set of clothes in there. But you get what I'm saying? Just do your best each day to attack the most out of that day and live better because of it. And don't forget to love on yourself in the process. We don't do that enough. Um, we criticize those you know, music artists, rappers, poets, whoever these forums, whoever are in these particular uh, spotlight and, and have these forums where it's all about, okay, I'm trying to get myself right and I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to encourage myself. And we go, oh, well, they're selfish. They're not thinking about anybody else. There's a reason why they tell you when you're on the plane to take the oxygen for yourself before giving it to someone else. Come on, y'all. We we can be a little selfish, and it's okay. So do what Miss Madeline Beck says. Start over. You get a new mercy. That's one of my favorite scriptures because I get to press the button and redo. I get to do it over. You don't know how many times sometimes I will re-record this. Because I get to redo it. If I wanted to deliver it, deliver it in the right way, redo, you know, and, and I don't think it, I don't think twice about it because it is what I want to give to the world. So it's okay to start over. It's okay, whatever it is, it's okay to start over and redo it and give some little finesse and some different touches to it and see it in a different way. But grasp it, take it. Find it, grasp it, love it, embrace it, and have it all for yourself um, and choose it. But don't forget to be courageous. Don't forget to be brave. And don't forget to love yourself in the process. Woo! This is good stuff. I mean, this is like the energy is just going crazy on the inside because I know this is the message that a lot of us need to hear that we don't give ourselves the allowances to do that. I don't know if you're a mother, a father, you know, um, a grandparent, 
I don't know what role you play in your life, you know, uh, a wife, um, a sister, a friend, I, I don't care. But sometimes we get so immersed in those roles that we forget about the, the, the person on the inside, what you represent, whatever that is. And we have to choose that person first be, before we can give out to the world. And so I want you to do that. I want you to write a list of how there's been something that you've been wanting to do and you might need to start over. You know, that's why I love sometimes a pencil, the whole premise of a pencil to be able to scratch it, write it, and then be able to erase it and start over again, um, a fresh, a new, you know? Um, and so this is what she's telling us. I have to read it one more time because Miss Madeline Beck really did it. And I just love it because she's connecting to us by saying, start over, my darling. Be brave enough to find the life that you want and courageous enough to chase it. Then start over and love yourself the way you were always meant to. That has been our show for today. I hope that something was said that you glean to to help you to start over courageously, bravely, and do it all in love and loving yourself, okay? So tune in to us next week. I have one more um, quote in this series, a reset, redo. And I hope something was said um, that's going to help you this week. So remember, whatever you do, whatever you touch, wherever you go, make sure that you do it absolutely positively with the premise of knowing that you get a new mercy to re-see it and a retail. Thanks, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because I did. I enjoyed delivering it to you. Until next time, take care.